Those were some pretty astonishing volcanic eruptions, right? Well, they're just the tip of the iceberg, or should I say, peak of the volcano. <laughs> On average, 50 to 70 volcanoes erupt worldwide every year, some even multiple times. But thanks to their unpredictable nature, very few are ever caught on camera. With that said, I've trawled the internet to find the very best footage of all the biggest, craziest, and strangest eruptions from all over the world. So try not to get too hot under the collar as we take a look at some huge volcanic eruptions caught on camera. Insanity in Italy Mount Stromboli in Sicily is a very active volcano that has been continuously erupting for more than 2,000 years. Usually, these eruptions are small, reaching about 1 to 2 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. For perspective, the index goes all the way up to 8, which is where the really dangerous explosions happen. However, this eruption in July 2019 was different. This photographer was stood beneath Stromboli when he heard an ear-bursting bang. By the time he'd taken his phone out to start filming, an explosive column of burning hot steam, ash, and rocks had risen to more than a mile in height. He managed to get away safely, though thanks to a boat full of tourists, he wasn't the only one to catch this eruption on camera. This was Stromboli's largest eruption in 90 years, but the monstrous mountain wasn't done yet. One month later, another huge eruption was caught on camera by a woman on a ferry ride, who definitely got her money's worth. Like the July eruption, the plume shot over a mile into the sky. But what happened next was even scarier. Huge pyroclastic flows made up of extremely hot ash, gas, and debris rolled down the mountainside, hit the water, and then started to speed across the ocean towards the boat. With top speeds of around 50 miles per hour and interior temperatures that can reach a boiling 1300 degrees Fahrenheit, these flows can destroy almost anything in their path. Fortunately, the captain of this boat really put his foot on the gas and everybody on board escaped uninjured. Red Hot Chile Terror Most huge volcanic eruptions are absolutely terrifying, but the eruption of Chile's Calbuco volcano back in April 2015 was, confusingly, awe-inspiring. The volcano began spewing ash nine and a half miles into the sky above birds and even planes just as the sun started setting, making for one heck of a sunset. But as beautiful as it was to look at, it was also incredibly dangerous. Emergency services raised the volcanic alert level from green to red, and more than 5,000 people were quickly evacuated. Even though the initial eruption lasted for just 90 minutes, it spewed almost 7.5 million cubic feet of ash into the air. That's enough to fill more than 84 Olympic swimming pools. This smothered the surrounding towns in about 20 inches of gray dust, causing the roofs of buildings to collapse and making many roads impossible to travel on. Despite the destruction, no one was reported missing or injured. Phew! Now, in a situation like this, I can't save your life. But if you hit those like and subscribe buttons below, I can save you from being bored ever again. I'm always uploading weird and wonderful new videos that'll have you exploding with excitement. But anyway, where were we? Indonesian excretion. 
Mount Sinabung in North Sumatra lay dormant for four silent centuries before suddenly reawakening in 2010. Since then, it's erupted more than 15 times, producing ash columns over six miles high and rivers of fatally fiery lava. But in 2015, something even more terrifying was captured on camera. What you're seeing is an enormous pyroclastic flow rushing down the mountainside at more than 50 miles per hour. <laughs> Man, that cameraman must have had nerves of steel. Though that's not the most terrifying perspective of Mount Sinabung's many eruptions. In December 2017, one unlucky resident of a nearby town was caught directly underneath this terrifying eruption. Ash was shot almost three miles up into the sky, coating the surrounding areas in a huge gray cloud. Thanks to a series of prior eruptions and earthquakes, many citizens living dangerously close to the volcano had already been evacuated. Still, watching this giant plume spread threateningly over your house can't have been much fun. Fiery Fuego we're heading to Guatemala now, a land known for its Mayan temples, tasty avocados, and voracious volcanoes. The most active of these is the phenomenal Fuego Volcano, which has erupted frequently over the past 500 years. Larger eruptions like this one from 1974 are rare, but smaller ones like this can occur every 15 to 20 minutes. Wow. That eruption may have been small, but the bang was huge. Volcanic cracks like this are the result of turbulence and friction created by hot gases accelerating upward and escaping through the volcanic vent at the surface. So the bigger the eruption, the bigger the bang. But the noises Fuego makes aren't its most impressive feature. In March 2021, these volcano enthusiasts captured more than they bargained for when they went to see one of Fuego's famous eruptions. Whoa, let's slow that down and see it again. In a scene you might expect to see in the next Thor film, a lightning bolt struck the peak of the erupting volcano. As much as it looks like a one in a million coincidence, this stunning sight is more common than you think. In a normal thunderstorm, ice crystals collide and generate electric charges, which result in lightning. But in the plume of a volcanic eruption, ash particles collide instead of ice crystals, generating the same electric charge. This can result in an unexpected bolt from the blue, or gray in this case. Hell in Hawaii When you think of Hawaii, you probably think of sun, sand, and coconuts, right? Well, how about adding violent volcanic eruptions to that list? For hundreds of years, explosive eruptions have rocked Hawaii's islands, some of which have sent rivers of lava flooding through woodland, blocking off roads, and even destroying houses. Mount Kilauea, the most active volcano on the island of Hawaii, has been particularly destructive, erupting 34 times since 1952. And these haven't been small eruptions either. At Mauna Ulu in 1969, lava was launched 980 feet into the air from a fissure and actually filled the entirety of the Aloe crater beside it. From 1983, Kilauea started erupting almost continuously for 35 years. Then, on the 24th of May 2018, this happened. This house, this house. House on that side over there, also gone. This is insane. About three weeks before this was filmed, the Pu'u'o'o crater on Mount Kilauea suddenly collapsed. 
The lava lake that had been boiling at the summit of the volcano drained underground, weakening the foundations of the summit. To make matters worse, a strong 6.9 magnitude earthquake began violently shaking and splintering the land at the same time. Then, the pressurized lava began to shoot up out of fissures, flowing along the surface in hellish rivers that reached a spicy 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Altogether, this mammoth eruption produced a staggering 320,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of lava, which destroyed around 700 homes. So next time you're thinking of holidaying in Hawaii, you might want to check there's no lava flowing through your resort first. Smoky Raikoke on a lone island off the coast of Russia, a single volcano sat dormant for 91 years until one fateful day in 2019. At around 4 a.m. on June 22nd, the unpopulated Raikoke Island suddenly exploded. The eruption was so huge that astronauts on the International Space Station captured images of the stunning smoke show from space. The insane mushroom cloud had shot over 8 miles into the sky and was so vast that satellites captured the plume of volcanic gases spreading to the east. You can see how the gargantuan cloud ripped past Paramushir Island, which may look small against the smoke here, but it's actually 60 miles long. The powerful plume traveled for over 600 miles, and foul-smelling sulfur dioxide from the explosion was detected over eastern Russia more than three weeks after the initial explosion. Well, at least those Russians could blame any other bad smells on that volcano, if you know what I mean. Crazy Kamokuna Have you ever wanted to know what happens when an unstoppable river of lava meets a massive body of water? If so, look no further. This lava at Kamakuna, Hawaii hit the sea at a blistering 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit, completely boiling any water it touched. The billowing steam clouds it created are very dangerous too, containing tiny glass shards of fragmented lava and an acidic mist called lays. When lava reacts with water, it makes hydrochloric acid, and as the lava rapidly cools, it solidifies into volcanic glass. In turn, this volcanic glass shatters and gets wafted up in the hot acidic plume. It may look misty and magical, but trust me, this is something that you really don't want to get close to. Not tall, tall. At a glance, Lake Tall in the Philippines looks like any other body of water. Except, if you zoom out, you can see this is actually a lake inside the crater of the huge tall volcano, which sits in an even bigger lake on the island of Manila. But don't go thinking it's dormant just because it's a bit wet, because in January 2020, a huge eruption evaporated every last drop of water in its crater and sent it hurling more than 9 miles into the sky. The massive eruption was so huge that it was caught on camera by an observer in a passenger plane, and it dazzled onlookers further when it was suddenly struck by a bolt of volcanic lightning. Oh. I bet you never thought a plume of ash could look so breathtaking. But sadly, this eruption was as devastating as it was beautiful. Following the blast, a thick layer of wet, heavy ash was dumped across the whole island, destroying rows upon rows of houses. In total, the damage caused by the eruption was estimated at 577 million Philippine pesos, or 1.2 million dollars. Now that's a lot of fuck for your bang. Epic Etna 
Standing proud as Europe's biggest volcano, Mount Etna in Italy comes in at a monumentally massive 2.1 miles tall. That's as high as seven and a half Empire State Buildings all stacked on top of one another. And with all that height comes some truly humongous eruptions. In 2015, this incredible cameraman caught the moment a crater on the southeast side of the volcano erupted, sending bursts of hot ash and lava shooting through the air. Later, a huge pyroclastic flow hurtled down the flank of the mountain. Oh, mamma mia. Mamma mia. Maria. What's even more impressive than this daunting display, though, is the mushroom cloud of ash that shot out at the very literal height of the eruption. The plume billowed almost two miles above the already colossal volcano, creating a very beautiful, if intimidating, scene. But for all its gusto, Etna's plume here was still seven miles shorter than Tal's. Maybe they should have a fight to settle which of them is the most explosive once and for all? Although, I wouldn't want a ringside seat to that fiery bout. Terrifying Turrialba Would you hike for 12 straight hours, hacking your way through miles of dense forest with just a machete, all to get to an incredibly dangerous volcano? Because that's exactly what Javier Esquivel and his crew did to get this awesome drone footage of Turrialba Volcano in Costa Rica. Due to a spate of eruptions, the surrounding national park was forced to close for three years back in 2017, the same year Esquivel made his journey. Though it's not hard to see why when the eruptions were all this huge. Soaring over half a mile above the crater, the plume of ash and steam is a monstrous marvel to behold. Not sure I'd be brave enough to hike for 12 straight hours to witness it firsthand, though. Or fit enough, for that matter. Lively La Soufrière more recently, in April 2021, La Soufrière volcano on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent exploded into life, propelling ash a jaw-dropping five miles into the sky. And it is spectacular, at the same time a bit menacing and a bit scary. But what goes up must come down, and as thousands of locals fled the alarming eruption, they were pelted with the hard volcanic debris as it crashed back down to Earth. Uh, trying to navigate through these, these really bad roads, get it soft here, and it's trying to get it hard apart over here. The cloud of ash was so thick with debris it blocked out the sun. Power and water supplies were cut off in some areas, and flights in and out of the island were cancelled. What's more, residents of the volcanic islands were advised to wear face masks to avoid breathing in the irritating clouds. Well, at least the COVID pandemic meant they were already prepared for that. Fantastical Fagradarsviash Geldingadalr in Iceland is such a mystical-looking place that iconic scenes from Game of Thrones were filmed here. But the sometimes snowy peaks of this place are punctuated with fiery activity of the Fagradalsfjall volcano. So it really is the land of ice and fire. Don't believe me? Then just take a look at this. I'd be scrambling away too if I were them. But why were all those people so close to this bubbling behemoth? Well, this volcano wasn't erupting violently, but rather effusively. An effusive eruption means that instead of bursting from the rock like a deadly whack-a-mole, lava gently flows from open fissures in the ground. Because of this, these eruptions are safer to observe up close, though they're still far from what I'd call safe. This footage of the same eruption, taken just over a month later, shows the lava shooting almost 1,000 feet into the air. Yeah, I think I'll keep my distance, thanks. 
striking Santia Guito. On an early morning in July 2016, a group of friends took a track up to a viewpoint overlooking Santia Guito Volcano in Guatemala, hoping to catch the serene sunrise. What they didn't expect was to end up with front row seats to the volcano's most dramatic eruption in recent times. This eruption happened so fast that the plume of ash and debris launched thousands of feet into the air in a matter of seconds. As you can imagine, a lot of damage followed. Though it wasn't from the eruptions themselves, but from the ensuing mudslides. These volcanic mudflows called lahars are caused when masses of rock, mud, and water are displaced by an eruption and sent sloshing down the side of a volcano. Muddy menaces like these leave a trail of destruction in their wake, and one such lahar wiped an entire town off the map back in the 1980s. Though the town of El Palmar near Santiaguito has since been rebuilt, locals live in constant fear that the disaster could happen again. So it's definitely nothing to laharf about. No doubt about Redoubt. This next volcano in the U.S. state of Alaska cost an estimated $160 million worth of damage when it started erupting in 1989 and then didn't stop for six whole months. The ash caused power outages and school closures, as well as widespread disruption to planes. And the enormous eight and a half mile high plume was shaped so similarly to a massive mushroom cloud that locals thought it may have been an atomic bomb. Oh, well, it wasn't quite that dangerous, though it was almost the end of a passenger plane that flew straight into the ash cloud. When the engines were clogged with ash, the crew thought they were doomed as they began plummeting over 14,000 feet. But after a few failed tries, they miraculously managed to get the engines up and running and made an emergency landing with no lives lost. Phew, it's hard enough landing a joke, never mind a plane. Popping Popocatapetl At more than three miles high, Popocatapetl is the second highest peak in Mexico, and also one of the nation's most active volcanoes. So active, in fact, that it's prone to double eruptions, like this one captured back in 2019. It all goes quiet after eruption number one, but then, after just two minutes, you can see the peak spewing out plume number two. Despite how active it is, though, people still hike up the volcano. You can even see its smoking crater here, which is roughly the same size as 45 football fields. Even though it's known for its frequent explosions nowadays, it lay dormant for almost 50 years until 1994. So I guess those double explosions are just its way of making up for all that lost time. Shin Moedake Fans of the 1967 James Bond film You Only Live Twice might recognize this next volcano. Called Shin Moedake in Japan, it does look like the perfect place to hatch an evil scheme. However, I wouldn't want to be plotting my enemy's destruction anywhere near it when it erupts. This explosive eruption in March 2018 sent volcanic rocks hurtling 2.5 miles around the volcano and caused nearby buildings to shake uncontrollably. I'd be shaking too if I looked out my window and saw this. Thankfully, this was filmed from the nearby village of Kirishima, which is more than 16 miles away. No wonder the crack of that explosion took around 30 seconds to hit. All noises aside, there's something very cool about the molten lava blazing bright orange against the night sky. Or should I say something very hot about it? 
Son of Krakatoa. While that last explosion was filmed from a nice, safe distance, in 2018, this tour group boating in Indonesia were way too close for comfort when the Anak Krakatoa volcano erupted. I mean, those flaming rocks look like they'd hurt. This violent volcano in Indonesia has been dubbed the Son of Krakatoa. Although it sounds like a 1980s action movie, the volcano emerged from the sea exactly where the original Krakatoa erupted 44 years earlier. For those of you who don't know your volcanic history, the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa was so huge it exploded with a force 13,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. After it exploded, the sinkhole it left behind formed a caldera, which is the place its sun now occupies. While this sun has one heck of a legacy to live up to, it's certainly giving it a good shot. Stunning Sadichev In my opinion, the true mark of how big something is, is if you can see it from space. Like the Great Pyramids of Giza, the Great Wall of China, or the Great Plume of Ash that erupted from the Kuril Islands back in 2009. At a staggering 11 miles high, astronauts on the International Space Station got a good look at the smokestack erupting from the Sadichev volcano as it soared four miles higher than any passenger plane. The 4,900-foot-tall volcano sits on the, thankfully, uninhabited Matua Island. Though it's erupted ten times since 1760, this eruption in June 2009 was by far the biggest. But it had one pretty peculiar feature, that pale cloud on top of the plume. Almost looks like this eruption is wearing a hat. Scientists believe it could be water condensation, resulting from the rapid rising and then cooling of the air above the ash column. So, now you've seen volcanic lightning and a volcanic cloud. Which of these massive eruptions were you most amazed or terrified by? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.